Hello there and welcome back to another Thunders Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another short series of military vehicles. This one is going to be based off of the HEMTT or the Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck Platform. I've got four trucks based off of that platform. I'm just floating up here by the 1070. Hopefully you guys have seen that one and made that one already. That was a really, really cool design. And I did a tutorial on that. The four trucks that we're going to be making, we've got the tanker, we've got the, uh, the cargo truck, and we've got the wrecker. And those are all based on an 8x8 platform. And then the 10x10 back here, this is the Army's PLS, or the Palletized Load System. Now the Marines have a version of the 10x10 too, and it's the LVSR, which is the Logistic Vehicle System Replacement. So if you want to build this one here for your Marine base, that will work just fine. And then I also have a Humvee on the back. It's one of my older ones. I just kind of crunched it and made it a little bit narrower. Than my old design has five wide. This is three wide. And then just kind of redesigned it a little bit. And you can take a look at it. And uh, if you want to copy that design and fix yours, that's fine. Other than that, that's going to be the beginning. And we're going to split each one of these into four separate tutorials. And that'll make them real quick, easy, and painless. So we're going to start off with the tanker truck. So let's get started. Pretty easy designs. We're going to be using sandstone, and I'm using nether brick stairs for the wheels. You can use cobblestone. The rest, everything on here is pretty simple. We got sandstone walls. We got some birch uh, fence gates down here at the bottom. We got some ladders, nether brick fence. You can use oak. Uh, we've got some gray stained glass for the windows, uh, wooden trap door. We've got a black banner and a brown button for the little turn signals here in the back. Really, really simple. We're going to be starting off with the nether brick stairs, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and put one down. Hit the upper hitbox, <laughs> already off to a great start. <laughs> and we're gonna go here, and then we've got two more back here. So go ahead and set that one, and then set this one. So that way these two touch, and then go ahead and put the tops on them so it looks just like this. And then you're gonna do the same thing one block away. So you're gonna have one block, and then over here, and then go back, and then build the exact same thing. So the truck is, and I did the exact same thing. So the truck is three wide, and we go here, two more pieces, take off that one, put one back in, and finish off the front wheels just like this, and just like that. All right, and then in between we've got five blocks, one, two, three, four, five. So on the sixth block is where the next set of wheels start, so on the seventh block we're gonna put one and hit the upper hit box, and then we're gonna go ahead and build the back set of wheels. Same thing, just like that and then skip one block, go back by one block, and then that way we're even with the uh, the other one. Get rid of that one. And finish off your wheels. All right, and that is your eight by eight uh, wheel set system, and it's gonna be the same for all of these, and I'm sure I will just go ahead and reuse this part of the tutorial for all four so I don't have to uh, re-record that. All right, we're gonna grab some uh, sandstone slabs, and we're gonna go right back here off of this top hitbox. We're gonna put one, and then take it back out, and then put in three. So basically, it's gonna be one block away from each wheel. All right, grab your fence gates, and you're gonna put a set here, and open them up. And let's make them face the other way. There we go. And then same thing this way. So it looks like that. All right, we're going to switch over to our saw block of sandstone. And we're going to go right in between here. Go one more forward. And then some upside down stairs here. One on the front. And one on the outside. And then we've got a total of 14 saw blocks down the middle. Counting these two right here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So it should be even with the back set of wheels. All right, grab your stairs. And you're going to have three upside down right here in the middle. And then you're just going to put a trap door on each side. So here and here. All right, on the opposite side over here, there's a, a toolbox or a tool chest area. We're going to have a solid block here. All right, and then here we have a slab. And then we have an upside down stairs piece facing forward just like that. All right, and then off the back, we have two upside down stair pieces here and here. And then your, uh, whoops, not right there, and here. And then grab your banner and put one here and here for your mud flaps. All right, back to the front, grabbing your stair piece above this first set of wheels right here and facing forward. You're going to go right above it just like that. And then on this slab, you got one going backwards. So do the same thing on the other side, make it match. All right, put a solid piece right here in the middle. 
and then wrap around that with your uh, upside down stair pieces. So it looks just like this. All right, and then going back on this side, we've got four upside down stairs. So one, two, three, and four. And then four regular. One, two, three, and four. And then one facing the back upside down. And then three over the wheels. One, two, three. And then a solid block on top right there. So that's what this side looks like. Going around to the other side, we've got three upside down right here. So one, two, three three and then we've got a solid block here and then a slab and then seven regular stairs so there's one two three four five six seven and then a solid block at the end all right one in between here and then one up in between here and you can go ahead and fill this in solid behind here all the way up to these set of stairs all right so that's the bottom part of that platform all right Let's finish off the cab. We're gonna put three solid pieces here and then grab your gray stained glass and you're just gonna walk that forward around the front, down the side, and then put on some rear view mirrors here and here. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and cap this off with some stair pieces and then wrap them around the front and down the side and then put some slabs in between. All right, and then that finishes off the main part of the build. So we're gonna use that front part of this tutorial to do the other four. So from this point forward, this is where we're gonna change. All right, guys, so continuing on with the tanker, uh, right behind the main cabin piece here, we're gonna have two solid blocks over here, and then one, two, three, and then four down the middle. All right, we've got another piece right here, and actually it's three down the middle. It's four total, one, two, three, four from here. Sorry about that. All right, now I'm gonna be using a polished diorite over here for the engine blocks. You can use blocks of iron and then just put two here and then put some trap doors to cover them up or you can leave them exposed if you like that look. All right, back over here on this side, we're gonna grab our fence gate and that's gonna go in right here and open it up. All right, switch over to your stairs and we're gonna face them to the outside right here, right on top and take that back to the corner, stopping one block short and switching this one around. So it looks like that. And then same thing going down this side, except start right in here and then walk it on down, turn around, put one in here, and then a solid block in the middle. All right, then go back to your stairs and finish off the tanker part. Just run these all the way down to the corner. Same thing over here. All right, and then put a solid block here in the middle between it and put a slab on top. Go ahead and cover up the tanker portion with slabs right there. And then we've got three more solid blocks here. And then switching over to this side here, we've got two more pieces of the diorite. And now there's a wheel that actually sits on top of this and it just doesn't look right if I try to put it up here one more layer higher. So I put it down in here and kind of like it was laying on its side. And again, we can't use um, stair pieces or to make a circle, which is unfortunate. And the only way that you could do that is turning them like this but then you're missing one piece over here and it doesn't matter how you turn it, you're always missing one. So it's what I ended up doing is just using solid blocks here instead. And then we've got a cobblestone wall piece that goes over here on this side, right above the, uh, the fence gates. And that is pretty much it for the tanker. Really, really simple. All we gotta do is put a, a little piece of fence post on top of it, cover the top of it with trap doors again. If you want to, you can leave it open if you want. Two buttons on the side here. We've got some little brown buttons here around the back and some ladders. And that finishes it for the M978 tanker, guys. Really hope you enjoy this series of little military trucks that you can put around your base. And like always, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.